All right, the next story we're going to read is called Love is a Family by Roma Downey. Illustrations by Justin Gasquet. I want a real family, said Lily, slamming the screen door shut behind her. And what would that be, her mama asked, more than just you and me. Tonight is family fun night, and I bet I'll be the only kid in the whole class with just one person. What kind of family's that? A small kind, teased Mama, but we're still a real family. Lily didn't want to have a snack with Mama like she did most days after school. The house is too quiet and too neat. I'm going next door, she said. Melissa's house was never quiet and never, never neat. Melissa had four brothers and two sisters. She shared a room with her sisters, and every night they had a pillow fight before they went to sleep. When I go to sleep, thought Lily, all I get is the next chapter in the book Mama and I are reading together. Lily played with Melissa in her noisy, messy house until Mama called her home to get ready for family fun night. Mama asked, do you want to call Uncle Mike and Aunt Lizzie to see if they'll meet us there? Uncles and aunts don't count, Lily told her. Sometimes I wish I had sisters or a dad who lived with me, or at least a brother or something. I know, said Mama. Sometimes I wish that too, but most of the time our little family feels just right to me. Love is what makes a family, and we have plenty of that. Lily knew it was true. Even so, her lonely feeling wouldn't go away. She kept worrying about how they'd be the weirdest family at family fun night. But as it turned out... They weren't. When they got there, they saw plenty of families that didn't look like Melissa's. Lily talked to a girl who was there with just her dad. She came back and whispered to Mama, Remy's mom died and she has no brothers or sisters. So it's just the two of them. That's how I grew up too, said Mama. Lily had forgotten about that. It felt weird to think about her mom as a little girl. But how could your dad brush your hair and make you feel pretty? She asked, does he uh, know how to braid or get the barrettes even on both sides? Grandpa learned to do those things because he was my daddy and he loved me, Mama said. He also baked peanut butter cookies and planned a fantastic birthday party. He sang songs and told awful jokes when I needed cheering up. There are many ways for families to show love as they are different kinds of families. Lily pointed to a girl in her class. Like Tamika, her mom and dad showed love by adopting her and getting her a puppy and freezing a big wad of gum out of her hair with ice cubes instead of making her cut it. Mama laughed. And, and how about how Josh and Tony across the street, they don't have parents now, but they have grandparents who pop popcorn for scary movies, rescue balls from the roof, pull splinters out of dirty fingers, and catch lightning bugs. I call that a family too.
At Family Fun Night, they saw families with stepdads and stepmoms and half-sisters and half-brothers. There were single moms, single dads, and families made up of all different colors and skins. Everyone was laughing, showing their love, all by being together. But later, walking home in the cool air night, it was just Lily and Mama again, alone under a million sparkling stars. Lily pointed, see that big bunch of stars over there? That's how big Melissa's family is. That's a nice bunch of stars, said Mama. Yeah, but those, but look at those two pretty stars twinkling together over there, Lily said, smiling. They're like us. They're shining just as brightly. Mama, someday you'll be as old and I'll be grown up, said Lily. And do you know who will brush your hair then? It will be me and I'll braid your hair for you. And I'll make sure the barrettes are even on both sides because you and I will always be a family and will always have love. Mama squeezed Lily's hand, and those two stars shined like the brightest diamonds. And when we finish a book, we say, the end. Thank you.